Do you ever look for an answer from God and you expect him to come one way and he comes another way? Well, that's what happened to me recently. So I was uh, doing some work at my mom's house and just kind of going through things and found this. Can you see the date? Yeah, it was January 6th of 2004. Here's what it says. So this is when I was doing prison ministry, Anchors of Hope is what we were called. And we were at the Tilly Correctional Center. And apparently, which I forgot, I guess I wrote a newsletter called Anchors of Hope. And this is what it says, beware that person. It's bound to happen. Things are going great. Everything is moving along fine. And bam, here they come. You know exactly who I'm talking about. That person. They show up to get us off track, to throw a monkey wrench in our progress, and they even show up during your lowest times or moments of great temptation. That person feels like a dark cloud inside your body. That person feels like a heavy weight that paralyzes you. That person's motivation for showing up could be to hold you hostage to the pain of your past. I don't know why they've come. But consider that they're your final exam. And the question is, who do you serve, God or man? If you fail the test, you'll have to repeat the class. If you pass, God will promote you. It's the hardest thing you'll have to do. Close the door on that person. Someone who's walked so closely with you at one time, that time has passed. And so has that person. Let them go and move on. So it took me a while to kind of remember who was that person in my life at the time. They can be friends or family. Doesn't matter who. But I look at my life now and I look at that person's life. 180. 180. I am so glad that I made the decision to follow God. It changed my life. So when I came across this and I was thinking of another that person, I was like, here's the answer right here. I love the way God reveals himself in different ways. We expect God to come in one way with an answer and he comes up with something that I wrote 20 years ago. That's how good God is.